What's up, guys? Um, I didn't post this till today. I'm not gonna. I didn't say anything about it till today. Really, because I, I really had to think about it. I'm listening to a little bit of music, by the way. Hopefully, it just doesn't get tagged or anything. A little bit of I Prevail in the afternoon is nice. Um, my evil cat. He's bad as hell. Anyways, I was over my grandmother's house. Uh, I again, I, I recently just met my my biological father. And I'm meeting the rest of the family. Well, Saturday night, I got invited to dinner, uh, you know, on Sunday. Well, I was talking to him Saturday a little bit and talking to him about, you know, like the paranormal shit going on. He, he you know, he's into that too. Uh, you know, he's always asking about the mirror and all that. And, um... Uh, as I'm talking about it, I start telling him about a little bit of the, you know, like the sensitivity stuff that I have, you know, the, um, you know, I'm able to feel, uh, hear and, and see stuff that, you know, a lot of other people can't. And, um, I told him about. Uh, whenever I had that concussion in high school, I told him after that I was able to see, I, I have to concentrate on it now, but, um, in order to do it, but I can still see, uh, people's auras as weird as that sounds. Um, uh, after I had my concussion in high school, I, uh, like after I, kind of came to a little bit a couple days later I noticed that like people were kind of glowing a little bit and I thought I was losing my mind I, I legit thought I had like a brain tumor or something and then I actually talked to somebody and she basically told me that I was able to you know what it is and why I'm able to do it well the other day, last week, last Sunday, I met, um, I guess she would be my cousin, <clears throat> and I, I walked into the house, and I found out, like, I was just, I wasn't even, I wasn't even really saying much of anything. And she already knew basically what I was what I was about to tell her. Um, mind you, I'd never met this woman. Uh, and I don't even think that she knew I existed until the night before. Uh, with that being said, she kind of laid something on me. Well, no, the, the, the day before I was talking to my dad and he, he started telling me about the stuff that he was able to see. And he also had this since he was a kid. And he, I guess whenever he was a kid, he thought that he was losing his mind. That's why he never said anything. Well, meeting up with the rest of the family, we started talking about it. And we basically all shared stories <clears throat> of this. Apparently, from what I was told, is being as sensitive runs on my dad's side of the family. My dad can do it. My cousin can do it. Uh, his cousin can do it. I don't. Uh, she's related somehow. I don't know. My grandmother, which is my dad's mom, can do it. And then my cousin drops a bomb on me and literally looks at me and goes, that's the Somalian in all of us. So I literally, not uh, on top of 
finding out that my entire side of the family on my dad, you know, my dad's side of the family, we're all sensitives. We all can sense shit. Some of us are stronger than others at it. Like, I'm, I'm apparently stronger than my dad, but my little cousin is stronger than all of us. I mean, she was, they were telling me stories. Now, my little cousin, I think she's like, I want to say she's like 14, something like that. She's young. And they were telling me stories about what she is able to see or what she's seen. And it was just, it, it's nuts. Uh, like, I'm not entire like, I didn't really full out believe in this stuff. Like, I, I, I believe in a paranormal. I always have. But sensitives and all that I really never believed in all that much until until shit started getting a little bit heavier with me like I again I I know like I know that there's people that are more in touch with like their surroundings and stuff <clears throat> and all that but I didn't like I was never too keen on like psychic mediums and shit and this encounter kind of opened me up a little bit because apparently like like I walked into the room and I started talking about you know I, I just started talking about everything and my cousin looks at me and goes "Ooh, you're a strong one aren't you and I'm like, kind of looked at her. I was like, what are you talking, you know, what are you talking about? What, uh, what? And she was like, you have the gift, don't you? And this is practically right before we started talking about everything. And then she started naming off shit that I, that I'm able to see and shit that I'm able to do. And I, I didn't know what to say. I really didn't. Uh, I, I still don't know exactly what to think about the whole, you know, everything. Because, <sighs> again, like, I, I was never real big into this stuff because I didn't believe it. I didn't want to believe it. Now that I know uh, that I'm not the only one in my family that can do this. I guess I can I guess I can say this. I don't know if there has been cuz my my dad can do this too. And I found this out. Um when there's times that I fall asleep and in my dreams I'll have a dream about something and then you know, a, a, a day, a, a week, you know, a month, a year down the road, years down the road, this dream will come true. And I always thought it was just deja vu. And it turns out it's, it's not, it's not deja vu. Like it's quite literally me and everybody on my dad's side of the family can do this. And again, I thought I was the only one that was that was able to do all any of this. And now that I know I'm not the only one, it's I'm happy, you know, knowing that I'm not fucking crazy. But it scares me also. The reason why it scares me is because it does indeed open up a little bit of a doorway for potential more darker stuff to come through. Um, 
my my little cousin I, apparently she's able to see uh she's able to see a bunch of stuff and whether it's good or bad she's able to see it and cuz i mean obviously she's a little bit younger she's more open to it she just never most most families they say oh that's not real you know you know th this stuff's not real blah 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 so naturally you start blocking it out as you get older but them you know the whole family's able to do it so they never she never got the chance to have that shut off or or you know sh to to not believe in it so that's why she is as strong as she is right now. And she, like, again, she's 13, 14, something like that. So by the time she gets to be older, she's going to be, she's going to be pretty, pretty good at this. Me, on the other hand, I, I want to learn how to control it. Uh, I've said this before that I want to learn how to, you know, open my mind fully to what I'm capable of doing, I guess, or capable of seeing, ca capable of feeling, a, whatever it is. I want to completely open my mind fully to it. I just don't know how. I... Tried reaching out to a couple people, and I never heard anything back yet. Um, so if anybody out there can can help me, uh, or you know, give me pointers or you know, tips, I guess that would be fantastic. Um, because I really want to learn. I really want to know, you know, how to open my mind up completely. I want to learn how to, you know. You know, open my mind, open my body, because I, I really, really, really want to get to the point where, you know, I can, I can maybe do, like, psychic medium crap, um, even though, yes, I, again, I was never big on, you know, I was always a skeptic with that, but apparently now that I'm I'm, you know, learning, I, I, I guess the psychic stuff runs in, runs in my family. It's in my blood. I didn't know this until Sunday, so. Um, again, it's nice to know that I'm not crazy. I mean, I still... Even though I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm nuts. Um, it's just, it's just weird to me, you know how. When I was younger, I never really tried to pay much attention to it, and and now, like I tried blocking it out so much that it got to the point where it's forcing itself through almost like like I don't want to feel it I don't want to see it or hear it but it's it's getting so bad that it's literally forcing itself to me forcing me to see it forcing me to hear it and feel it like we went to yesterday, we just messing around. We went to an antique shop in Charleroi. That it's that Tim's Treasures. It's uh, it's a haunted, supposedly haunted. Uh, it, they I guess they they showed it on that show, My Ghost Story. I didn't know this until the other day. I was doing. I was just looking shit up, and. So I decided, I was like, hey, I want to go down there. I want to see if they have anything, you know, like a haunted doll or something. Just messing around. Well, 
the store was closed. It just so happened to be closed. Well, uh, which I, I still don't know why, because it was 11 o'clock in the morning and they opened a tent. But uh, we, we got down there. And I grabbed the door to go to open it. And whenever I grabbed it, like, it was like almost like I, I seen like flashes of shit. It, like, like, I, I don't want to necessarily say in my head, but like. It was like in my head, but it was like in front of me. It was it was weird. It was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Weirdest thing I've ever experienced. Uh, by far. With all this shit. So, I, I don't know. I, I just, I really don't know. Uh, again, if anybody out there is, you know, uh, can can help me and, and give me tips give me pointers man let me know please because i want to know i want to learn how to control this shit uh especially especially now that it's starting to get it's starting to just usually i had to concentrate usually i had to actually physically walk into a building to be able to fill it now Christ, I can be standing out on a fucking sidewalk and grab the door handle and be able to see this shit and feel it. Like, it was not... It wasn't good. It was... It... I, I don't even want to... I don't even want to say what I seen. So, just... If anybody out there, please... Help me. <laughs> please. So... Um... With that being said, I'm going to get off here, and um, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.